Hey guys, and welcome back to CanCode. Today we are on part 11 of the shooter game. So if you don't know how our game is looking at all, then just check out the progress report that I made on parts 1 through 10, link in the description. So today we're going to do a couple of different things, but first I'm going to make it so that when a bullet touches an enemy, it actually lights up for a second to make it kind of look like it's been hit. So here we have changed the enemy lives by minus one, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the brightness effect to we'll say 30 just to see what that's like right when it touches the bullet and then right after the end of everything it's going to wait 0 0.0000 seconds and then set the brightness effect to 0 again so this is for the normal guy so let's just see what happens play that nothing happens boom boom kind of like flashes for a second I think it looks kind of cool but we can make it wait a little bit less the higher we make this number the more it kind of makes the guy stop in his tracks a little bit so it's not really doing it that much but that brightness effect does look pretty cool so I'm just going to copy this and delete all of the, this stuff here. And I'm just going to add it to the fast guy when it touches the bullet. And then, um, it well, you know, for this one, we can add it and it will look okay, but um, it's just going to die after the first hit. So... Uh, it won't look as cool, I guess. But that's okay. Because we have it for this one. Okay, we'll add that there. And now... I kind of flash. And these guys do too. That looks pretty cool. When one of those fast guys comes, we'll see what they look like. Okay, see, they still light up. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a new type of enemy. This enemy I was thinking would be kind of like just like a normal guy, except he spawns anywhere in this half. So it doesn't actually have to spawn all the way on this right side, it will spawn anywhere in this area. So it makes it a little bit harder because they just start appearing randomly. So we will uh, we'll copy this, they will have two hits. Like the normal guys, put them at the end, we'll call it, um, surprise, because they kind of surprise you when they pop up, surprise, gonna make it kind of green like that, and then this will come down, I'm just actually gonna just copy this, and then delete this, and then duplicate this one, we'll paste it in, and then change this to green, all right, that looks pretty good. Now the size for these ones, I'll make them, you know, they can be the same size as the normal guys. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, duplicate this. Well, actually, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to come up with a probability for them. Right now, uh, that we're having a one to 10, and there is a uh, less than four, so, or greater than four, so there's a 60% chance that these guys come. But I'm going to say, or a 50, sorry, a 50% chance. I'm going to say greater than 5 and make it a 40% uh, chance. And then for these guys, um, if the enemy type is greater than 2, so it's saying if it's greater than 5, then do that. But if it's not, it's greater than 2. Well, this would actually be greater than 3 now. But I'm going to change it to... Uh, no, greater than 3 is fine, actually. And then the strong one is just if it's not that one. So, we're just going to go... Um, if the enemy type is greater than 1, then do this. Otherwise, we're going to make the other ones up here. So, this one will go right here. 
and it's gonna switch the costume to surprise. It's gonna do the same thing like normal. It's gonna point towards the player and move three steps. Uh, three steps is well, maybe we'll do four steps. I think that's normal, right? Normal guys. No, the normal guys go five steps. So we will make him go five steps. The brightness, yep. Enemy lives, yep. Uh, change the cash by three. We will change the cash by yeah. We will change the cash by three for this one. Uh, next costume brightness touching player. Okay, that looks all fine, except for one thing. It's just gonna act kind of like a normal guy, slightly different because you get more points. But it's, and it's gonna look green. But it's gonna not. It's just gonna come from the right side. So we want it to come from uh, not not always the right side. So we have it appearing from the right side. But for these guys, we're going to need to change their positioning. For them, we're going to need to put it right here and say, yeah, it needs to go to a random position on the Y. But for the X, it also needs to go on a random position. It needs to go from 0 to 240. So that's from the center of the screen to over here. So it's just going to come somewhere randomly in there. So now when we play, we've got these guys, these guys. And there's the smallest chance that those guys come, but they are coming. That was a little bit weird. That glitch is not supposed to happen. Let's see what happened again. I have a hunch on what the problem is. One, two. Okay. For this, we're going to set the enemy lives to two. So they're setting it to 4. We do not want the enemy lives to be 4 because that's just making them switch into too many costumes. We just want them to have 2 lives. So 1, 2. Alright, that looked pretty good. But let's try it again because I think there's a, a problem. It's not uh, really a problem but a slight issue. Yeah. In my opinion, the change uh, like from here to here does not look like that much. And I think it's just not dark enough. So. We'll make that darker. This one we'll make darker. And then on here we will make that darker. But we also now have to go do that for this one. That looks pretty good. Kind of, I kind of like that. They're kind of like not always coming from the side they tend to kind of come from back here though which isn't that big of a deal like it doesn't hurt me that much but if I was like up here which I don't really know why I would be but maybe there's an item up here later we'll put uh, items and maybe there's a really nice item up here that we wanted to get and so we came up here and then it just kind of spawned right next to us and killed us so that's pretty nice now the next thing I'm going to attempt to do here is to make waves so we're going to make a variable called uh, wave for all sprites. And this wave is just going to tell us uh, what the wave is, like what, um, how many waves we've survived. And they're going to try and get harder as we go on. So we're going to go up here and we're going to um, say create clone myself. This is just what's happening all the time. But instead, what we want to do is we want to have a... Uh, only come on waves. So originally, when we were safe play, we could click the flag. It's gonna set the wave to one. Now we're going to go here, put a repeat block around here, and this repeat block is going to be the wave. So I put repeat wave, but we don't want it to repeat whatever the wave is. So like wave one, there's one guy. Wave two, there's two guys. We want it to be a little bit different. Maybe we'll say uh, wave one. There will be 10 guys, maybe. Maybe like, maybe 5 actually, just because it's a wave. It's a pretty small. So we'll go wave plus 5. So actually, the first one, we'll do 4. That would make this 5. So, wait. Oh, well, wave's supposed to be 1. So, if we click this, and then we do this, yeah, it's 5. So, wave's 1. And so, 5 guys will come. But then every time the ne another wave comes, I think 2 more guys should be added. So we will say wave 
times 2. But if we do this, then we're going to have to make this 3. So, now if we detach this for a second, we have 5, and then say the wave comes by, now there is going to be 7 waves. Now, the next one, or 7 people in the wave. Then 9, and so on, like that. So I think that's pretty cool, so we'll add that there. And then, for the weight block, it's waiting 0.2 to 2 seconds, but I think it should be, it should wait less time uh, in certain waves. This actually took me some time to figure out which the best was, so I'm just going to tell you <laughs> what I did instead of showing you how I figured it out. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a wave divided by 50, and then we're just going to do 2 minus this. So 2 seconds minus wave divided by 50 uh, is 1.6 because the wave is 8 right now. Whatever the wave is, it's just going to take off a little bit from the 2 seconds. We're going to plug this in on this side, and then on the other side, it's just going to be this divided by 10. So, divided by 10, like this. Put it right there. Perfect. Okay. That's pretty good. Now, after it does this, we're going to change the wave by 1. Okay, so it changes the wave by one, and so that means it goes to the next wave. So that works pretty well, but let's wait before we go to the next wave. So we'll like wait like two seconds or something. So let's just kind of see what happens here. So it's wave one. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of big guys. Now it's wave two. Ooh, that actually is kind of cool. There's less and less time in each wave, but and there's more and more guys that come. This is wave three. Ooh, that guy. Ooh, that was actually a nice one. It appeared kind of on this x-axis. Ooh, oh, that one actually got me. Wow. I like those guys. Okay, wave five. Now that's pretty cool, but I think we wanted to kind of announce what wave we're on, and that is all for this video. Yeah, I'm really sorry, I'm going to have to pause it right here, and next time we will actually make it so the waves are actually announced. It's going to be pretty cool, so make sure to check out that video. It is right here on the end screen. Thank you guys so much for watching, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.